Hi, I'm Randy Boyd with Prepare International, and I want to welcome you to this incredible devotional series right here on YouVersion called The Beatitudes. The Beatitudes were the first opening statements of what all around the Christian world call the Sermon on the Mount. The Sermon on the Mount was the opening discourse of our Lord Jesus Christ as He began to unfold what life in His kingdom is all about. Now, what are the Beatitudes? They're the nine little opening statements. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Right down to the end, blessed are those who are persecuted for my sake, etc., etc. These Beatitudes are fantastic. A little bit about them. Just like Moses received the law and gave the law on, on Mount Ararat many, many years before, the law of Moses was encapsulated in what we call the Ten Commandments, and the rest of the law was simply the application of the Ten Commandments to all the rest of life and worship and sacrifice. I am convinced the Sermon on the Mount these nine beatitudinal statements, the blessed are, the, the nine blessed are, they are the magnus opus. They are the, 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 the summation of kingdom living. For what we find in them, they're not nine commandments. They're the nine description of a man or a woman, a boy or girl, who has fully entered and is operating in the kingdom of God. My friend R.T. Kendall says this, Living in the kingdom of God on this side of heaven is living life fully in the Holy Spirit without grieving Him, and I'll add, without hindering Him. These nine statements are the description of the man or woman in whom the, the, the Spirit of God has formed the kingdom. And this is what the kingdom man, the kingdom woman, boy or girl, looks like. Get ready for a wild ride. But before we go on to the first beatitude, there's three parts to every beatitude. The first is blessed. Blessed are. Blessed are the poor in spirit. Blessed are. What is the word bless? It means supremely happy, endued with divine ability. And I love this definition. You're so blessed when the world looks at you, they go, Oh my gosh, I want to be just like him. I want what he has. Could you imagine being that kind of a, a contagious follower of Jesus on the earth? That the very world that doesn't know him looks at your life and wants what you have. All nine start with blessed, that word. Then there's the trait, the poor in spirit, those who mourn. The characteristic, the, the mindset or the adding attitudinal aspect of our life. But then each of these end with a promise. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. For they shall be comforted, etc. So get ready. This is going to be a fantastic journey we're going to take together. I'll see you again real soon.